Hello, children of God. This is Yemi. I want to share a word that I believe is specifically for someone who has been seeking wisdom and guidance from the Lord regarding their finances. As I was praying for you today, I heard these words in my spirit, spending freeze. As someone who works in business management in the corporate world, I understand what the term means. But I decided to lean in to understand better. And I heard the Lord say, it is for someone who has been asking him for wisdom and guidance on how to manage their finances. Interesting. A spending freeze doesn't necessarily mean completely stopping all spending. Is that even possible? Instead, it's about being intentional with your finances and making conscious decisions to cut back on unnecessary expenses. You have prayed and asked the Lord for wisdom and guidance on how to manage your finances. And the Lord is giving you a strategy to implement. This strategy involves evaluating your current expenses, identifying areas where you can cut back or eliminate unnecessary spending, and prioritizing your financial goals. Here are some practical steps you can take to implement a spending freeze. Create a budget. Take stock of your income and expenses and allocate a specific amount for each category. This will help you track your spending and identify areas where you can cut back. Prioritize your needs. Separate your needs from your wants and focus on meeting your basic necessities first. This may require making sacrifices in other areas, but it is important to prioritize what is essential. Cut out non-essential expenses. Take a hard look at your spending habits and identify expenses that are not necessary. This could include eating out less, Canceling subscription services you don't use or are not beneficial to you or finding cheaper alternatives for certain purchases. Practice discipline. Stick to your budget and avoid impulse purchases. Before making a purchase, ask yourself if it is something you truly need or if it is just a want. Delaying gratification can help you avoid unnecessary spending. Seek accountability. If you can, share your financial goals with a trusted friend or family member who can help you keep you accountable. Having someone to support and encourage you along the way can make a big difference. So if you've been feeling overwhelmed or uncertain about how to manage your finances and you've been praying and asking God to give you wisdom to manage your finances, this message is for you. This is your strategy. And I want to encourage you to embrace this strategy. Allow the Lord to guide you in making wise financial decisions and to help you break free from bad money habits and debts that may be holding you back. Praise God. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your guidance and wisdom in every area of our lives, including our finances. Help us to be good stewards of the resources you have entrusted to us and make wise choices with our money. Give us the discipline and strength to implement this strategy you have given us. May our financial decisions honor you and bring glory to your name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I love you and I'm praying for you. God bless you.